this guy must have connections. I mean, look at this stuff. Silver service breakfast. That's, that's class. Well, this is Jack Brown's room. You got the message straight? Sure. Mm -hmm. Yep, Jack Brown six. Yeah. That's it. Good morning, Matt. Good morning. Breakfast. Wow. Look at this. Delicious. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is just what it felt like. Oh, morning, Jack. Morning. Gee, this is for me. That's really sweet. What is this? Uh, compliments of Mr. Frank Farentino. And he says he hopes to see you at the pool game. Um, yeah, and he also hopes that the uh, breakfast tastes as good as the appetizer. How nice. Thanks. That's cool. I said thanks. Right. Okay. Wow, what a guy. Eggs Benedict. I just love Eggs Benedict. Good. Then take it and get the hell out of here. Gorgeous. You are something else. Huh? Mm, CJ. Good morning, fiance. Good morning, fiance. You snuck in last night. Yeah. I want to be here when they take those things off. I want me to be the first person you see. I love you. I love you too. So how are you feeling today? Oh, not so good. It was so hard trying to keep my hands off you this morning when I woke up that... That what? That I went blind. <laughs> You're a creep. <laughs> Watch the hand. Watch the hand. <laughs> <laughs> Silver service breakfast. Wow. Yeah, I, I got a secret admirer. So you decide to stay? Well, you're staying just for me, or is there something else? What are you casing the joint, eh? <laughs> I'm here for you. Yeah? Yeah. Brothers do that sort of stuff. Okay. So you want to stay? Sure. If the cops don't give me any trouble, I won't give them any. All right. Well, here's what happens. You want George off your back? You better get a job. Okay. What, no argument? Who, me? Whatever you say, big brother. That's pretty hard for an ex-con to get a job, isn't it? Well, we'll see about that. Morning, Sess. Hey, it's the black guy's telling me about Jack. Jack, this is Sess. After a job, son. Yeah. Can you handle one of these? Sure. Okay, then. Let's go. I'm an ex-con. Yeah, I know. He told me. Let's go. Good luck. Access. You're welcome.
<laughs> oh, this is gonna be great. Oh, Donnie won't know what hit him. Frank, it's a beautiful day. Can we get dressed and go to the beach? Make love in the surf? You want to get naked in public? Yeah. Yeah. It's Sunday. I've got to go to church. Frank. And what about the sand? Do you know how much sand there is on the average beach? Gets into everything. OK. You stay here and dream about your new boyfriend, Jack Brown. Hey. Now, watch your mouth. This game's important to me. Well, I'm going out. Hey, listen. What you chicks don't understand is how important it is to have a mate you can trust. Well, you trust Jack, Frank, and you trust trouble. Yeah? Well, at least he doesn't want to get me naked in public. Doing it in the surf. I've got a reputation. <laughs> Great idea. Valentine and I did it this morning. Did what? We delivered a civil service breakfast to one of the guests. Yeah, we thought if there's anybody out there crazy enough to pay 200 bucks for a few bits of egg and half a fish, there's got to be people in this town that'll pay a miserable 50 bucks for a real meal. Yeah, especially since they get me and Valentine thrown in. Now, it may have escaped your attention, children, but you work in a pub. We serve food there and you're advertising the competition. No, we're talking top class nosh hero, not your horrible muck. Beautifully put. Thanks. <laughs> and uh, just where do you plan to prepare this gourmet repast? Well, we were thinking maybe in the pub. You mean in my kitchen? Yeah. Yeah, and we're going to borrow that uh, trolley of yours and um, a few knives and forks and stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Well, I've got news for you both. My kitchen's got to prepare over 100 Horrible plates muck. of international <laughs> cuisine for lunch today. So get yourself back into the kitchen, rattle those pots and pans back at that pub. No way. I'm your boss. You're not mine, so I'll see you later. Where are you going? I've got a business to run. But who's going to cook lunch? Right. Max. It's Sarge. George. No, Bob. Morning, Rev. Max. I need a favour. Sure. Leave me, brother lion. You asking me or telling me? Well, you're putting pressure on him. He's trouble, Bob. He's hanging around with undesirables. He's fighting in alleys. Yesterday, I found him sitting in a stolen car. He gives me the keys and tells me it's nothing to do with him. Just his smart aleck way of getting me alone and coming the heavy. Well, maybe it's his way of being a good citizen, George. I could have brought him in, Bob. Any number of charges. Threatening police, for example. But I didn't. Because the one thing and one thing only is your family. Come on, he's not all bad. Oh, that's good. Because if he's looking for trouble, he's going to find it. Well, all I'm asking, please, is that you don't make it any more difficult for him than it already is. Got a job. Your brother's one of the best people I know. He tells me you're not going to be a problem. I want to believe him. Everybody deserves a chance. So you keep your nose clean, you do the right thing by old sis, and I won't hassle you. Okay. We wipe the slate clean now, we start again. Okay? Finished?
thinks he's pretty tough, doesn't he, Sarge? Yeah. Can we use your kitchen? What for? To cook. What can we use their kitchen? Uh, we haven't got any air electricity. Oh, it's been cut off again. <laughs> if you're hungry, guys. No, 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 you don't understand. No, when you set up, I'll explain. Okay. Um, look. See? We've set up our own civil service delivery service. That's great. Yeah, I hope you don't mind. Well, it's only until we get on our feet. A week or so. <laughs> Let's get this straight. You put up these posters this morning. All over Westside. <laughs> guys, guys, guys. I know business, OK? It takes weeks, months to get off the ground. You won't get a call for... Joseph's butler service. Who? One moment. It's a lady. For you. Yes. What's wrong? Nothing. Oh, come on, CJ. I'm just a bit nervous, OK? About getting these things off. Hey, the doctor said... The doctor? It... Never even laid eyes on the guy. Oh, sorry. I just wish Ellie was around. Martha's around. Martha? But do you reckon... And she can ask. I'll talk to her. I don't see why they wouldn't let her take your dressings off. Yeah, you reckon? That's a great idea, Tone, yeah. Where are you going? Uh, you hit the phones and try and find Martha. I've got to... I've got to do what a man's got to do. <laughs> Come on. I'll take you. <laughs> <laughs> How embarrassing. Hey, this is what love's all about. Martha, great idea, girl. <laughs> we can get some vitamin C. That'd help. Beach boy. I'm checking on Frank's investment. The boat. He's doing it up. Nice one, Bob. He's got good taste. Mmm. In everything. Don't let me distract you. I won't. myself some shade and watch. I have to look after Frank's investment and my skin. 
You do that. You got a problem? Can I buy you lunch? The hired help have to keep their strength up, if you know what I mean. I know exactly what you mean. But the service is going to be great. Give us a hand here, Jojo. Oh. I don't know why I have to wear this. Shut up and get it on. Nearly ready here. Who's got the chocolate mousse? It's on the bench. Oh! What? Oh, oh. oh I'm going to miss the passions. No, 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 no. We've got enough here. Oh, yeah. There we go. Ah. Oh. Valentine, what? someday we've got to have a long talk. What for? Never invite me to dinner. No! Mrs. Parsons has changed her mind. She wants seafood. Seafood? Fish! Cheers. Cheers. shall we? I'll be nice to you and you be nice to me. Can't you be nice? Now we're getting somewhere. Hey. What is
is your problem? Don't you like girls? Maybe. Maybe I just don't like getting my hands dirty. Why don't you go home and get yourself cleaned up? Calamari? No, it's not. Calamari? No. It's, um, it's quail. A crumbed. Uh, lobster. No, it's quail. Lobster. It's all quail. Lobster. Grubby dog eating crumb John Dory. quail. Oh, Johnny You'll Dory? You'll never get away with this. Yeah. Yeah. this and chocolate mousse. This and is blasty by misrepresentation. Yeah. False pretenses. This is criminal malfeasance. No. This is seafood. Fish. And the wine. Yeah, well, you charge her at least 50 bucks for that. Charge her? No, the wine's part of the deal. What? You're giving away a $30 bottle of wine? My wine? From my private cellars? That's... that's... sacrilege! Relax, man. You've got to learn to lighten up. <sighs> hey, someday we've got to have a talk, eh? Uh -huh. Come on, Valentine. Let's go. OK. okay. <sighs> Disaster. Fall down. Jimmy! Arnie, how's the uh, ironing board business? It's going smooth. How you doing? Good. What do you want? What we all want, Arnie. Money. Yeah, that right. Yeah, you want to deal drugs in Frank's clubs? I got control of the clubs. Maybe we should get married. Yeah, maybe we should. Drugs where the dough's at, right? I mean, that's where the future is. Frank just don't see it that way. If he knew you were talking to me, he'd kill you. Maybe I'd kill him. How much? A hundred thou in a suitcase tomorrow. Sounds like you're planning to skip town. Maybe. You thinking of taking Frank's old lady with you? Would you? Perhaps. She's uh, kind of nice. She's kind of expensive. I'll see you later when I whip Frank at the pool table as usual. I'll be there. Hey, honey. Frank's lost it. I ain't gonna be around when he falls off the tweet. You know what I mean? You and Frank go back a long way, don't you? So? Nothing. I'm just glad I don't have mates like you anymore. <laughs> Most of them are dead. The friendship. Yeah. all scared. All too scared to tell each other how scared we really are. Isn't that funny? Tony, come here. Oh, it was a simple operation. He'll be all right. He's not going to be blind forever. So where's the blonde, Frank? You know that's the only reason we come to these things. The only reason you come to these things is to watch me lose money. What can I tell you, Frank? It's your people against mine. I'm the champion pool hustler of my crew. You're the champion of your crew. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so where is she? Who cares? I love chicks. Get him. <laughs> if you don't want her, I'll take her off your hands. Ain't that right, Jimmy? I do your deal, honey. You take her off my hands for me, I throw in Jimmy for Nix. He's loyal, he's trustworthy, like a dog. I don't mind taking your woman, 
but I couldn't take your dog, Frank. <laughs> I'm just joking, Jimmy. You know what I'm joking, don't you? Sure, Frank. Everyone laughs. Right. <laughs> hey, baby. Hi, honey. I was telling Frank, when you wear out your welcome here, there's plenty of room at my place. Yeah, but you couldn't afford me, honey. <laughs> you got change of a dollar? <laughs> <laughs> So where is he, Frank? He'll be here. No, he won't. Yes, he will. Rack him up, Jimmy. Sure, Frank. Never again. Ah, oh, stop your whinging. Look at me, Judge. I look like a jerk. Well, you look great. I would have been better off wearing your fishnets. Yeah. Wait on. We, we can't do this. It's raining. Oh, we're doing lunch of the weather. Valentine, think of the bucks. The bucks. Yeah, the bucks. Thanks for inviting us, Mrs. Parsons. My pleasure. I really don't believe that the police get enough recognition from the public for their work, nor do their good ladies. Well, I'm afraid I won't be able to stay for long. I do have an appointment at the hospital. So, as we say in Oz, um, where's the grub? <laughs> oh, Australians have such a wicked sense of humour. <laughs> Joe, Valentine, uh, you both look uh, lovely. Um, where's Mrs. Parsons? Good afternoon, Mrs. Parsons. <laughs> I'm so looking forward to this. And you may serve or not. <laughs> Psycho! <laughs> it was you on the phone. I have done no. I've done a bit of acting in my time. I reckon more than a bit. No. Let's eat. Open the wine, Jeeves. <laughs> the wine's extra. That's not what this says. I didn't think that was going to work. Not that I don't trust you, but in advance, Mrs. Parsons, if you don't mind. Oh, $150 for three people. Very reasonable. What's this? It's a bill for the money you cost me by walking out at lunchtime. Plus, Rental and depreciation of my silver service and cooking utensils. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Jojo, the food. <clears throat> what have we here? Let's raise the stakes. My usual five grand against Melanie. It's only one night. It's no big deal. You're trying to insult me. You expect me to sell my woman to you for five grand? Make it ten. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make it twenty. It doesn't matter either way. I always win. Yeah, you're right. I thought I was gonna get lucky tonight. And I just did. Hey, man. What's this? No outsiders, Frank. This is not an outsider, Arnie. This is my champion. You're playing or what? 
Sure. What about you? Why not? Good. Same bit. Same bit. Hot coffee coming up. Where have you been? Oh, we've only been a couple of minutes, mate. Thought you'd left. No way. Hello, CJ. Martha, thanks for coming to do this. It's a pleasure. What time is it? Nearly six. Showtime. <sighs> Your break. Better pack your toothbrush, Stella. Yeah, right. You don't think Frank meant it, do you? <laughs> Tell her, Frank. 20K's a lot of dough. You'd do it, wouldn't you? Man's got to pay his debts. Anyway, haven't lost yet, have I, champ? <laughs> Not yet. She's the bet. That's right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, laugh it up, all of you. Very funny. Keep the noise down. I can't concentrate. Now, let's have a look. Thanks. Don't expect to see straight away. The doctor said that when the bandages are off, keep your eyes closed. Then open them in your own time. I see. Yuck, yuck. Here we go. It'll be hazy at first. That's normal. Okay? Okay. There. In your own time. Funny guys. What do you mean? Have you turned the lights out? You did, didn't you? The lights are on, CJ. But I can't see anything. Nothing. Trick, babe. <laughs> well, it don't matter. He won't win. Sure he can. <laughs> Want to make it 30 grand against her for a week. OK. Hate to bring the bad news, but your champ's a chump. Ain't that right, Jimmy? <laughs> now. Now. Oh, 
Oh, pretty to watch. Huh, pretty boy. a big kiss. He saved your honor. Mm, nah, he doesn't like girls. Oh. Hey, boys, drink up, drink up. Thank you very much. Frank. <laughs> to me, Arnold. Thank you. So, Arnie, we still got a deal or what? Yeah, tomorrow. 100,000 a suitcase. Oh, thank you, boys. Thank you. Cheers. Sweetheart, you're going to have to pull yourself together before you go back in there. What are we going to do? You mustn't let him see you like this. He's going to be blind forever. We don't know that. Yes, he is. He's never going to be able to see me. Or if we have kids, he's never going to be able to see them. I just feel so sorry for him. You're going to need to do more than that. You're going to have to be there for him. He needs you now more than ever. I'll be strong. Good girl. How about starting now? Hmm? Tony all right? Yeah, mate, she's just fine. Could I ask you something dumb? Sure. Give us a hug. Sure, mate. Everything's gonna be just fine, CJ. You hang in there, mate. Tony? The doctor said he wants you to have a brain scan. Brain scan? There might be some neurological damage. What's that mean? Well, your accident might have caused a bit of damage to the pathways leading from your eyes to your brain. What are you telling me? You're telling me that I might not see again? Are you? Did you see him? Did you see my champion? Yeah, we all saw him, Frank. <laughs> Five years I've been waiting to cream Arnie. Five years. And this guy stuffs him like a Christmas turkey! And he doesn't want to fool around with my girl. Hey, Jimmy. Frank, let's go to bed now. Yeah. What do you want? What is it this? Is that what you want? More. He doesn't want to rip me off. You can have it. I got more money I can spend in ten lifetimes. But what I haven't got, what I can't buy, is an equal.
I got peasants like Arnie. I didn't come here to be inside. This is my place. My rules. I got peasants like Arnie. Weasels like Jimmy. Whores like her. But I haven't got a friend. Are you my friend, Jack? My loyal friend. What if I told you to kill Melanie? What would you do? Or Jimmy? What would you do? You telling me? <laughs>